Coro Diwomo, it is so good to see you boys. Hopefully uh, you are excited for this first um, Musical Monday again. Uh, mandatory Musical Monday is on Zoom. Uh, today we're going to go over the alma mater. Uh, hopefully you've all had time to uh, check that out and uh, look at everything on your uh, website. Uh, let me steal your screens real quick, boys, and we can get started. Um, <clears throat> okay, hopefully all of you are seeing um, the screen here. Remember, we are under week eight. Uh, this week, your tasks are Tuesday, Thursday, Zooms, if possible. Uh, remember, those are always culture and environment. Um, we have individual lessons for any of you that have still signed up. We only have this week and next week left. And then week uh, 10, there aren't going to be any. Um, Musical Monday, that's today. If you're present, just uh, turn in. If you're not, make sure you watch the whole video and then turn it in right after. Same thing on Wednesday. And then we have a new CBPA form and watch video. So as we're looking here, if you click on the alma mater, it pulls you right into this screen so you can actually see it. Um, if you go into the CBPA description, it pops you in there. It tells you about it when it's due. And then this is the form. Uh, click on that, fill that out real quick. Uh, that's uber important because it helps me know what's going on and what song you picked. Remember, it's a music theater piece, super exciting. Um, anything that is sung on a movie uh, is a musical. It's music theater, so there you go. Um, boom, there's that. Uh, here's the description of exactly what it is. And here's the alma mater description. I'm not gonna go over it, boys, because um, again, I'm not gonna waste your time watching a video, watching a video. That would be stupid. That would be like when we read out loud and I'm gonna read out loud when you're in high school and you can read it yourself. <laughs> yeah, we don't waste time here, right? It's part of my rules. Um, but I do expect you to do it on your own. So now tenors, um, be very, very careful with this. Uh, all my modern instructions are here. We're going to go over them real quick, um, but this is more detailed. I know it says soprano alto 10, um, tenor, that's you, uh, because you move the same as the sopranos and altos, and I wasn't going to redo a video just for you. I know you're a bunch of divas, uh, tenors, but I'm not giving you that much love, okay? Bases, uh, same thing right here, okay? Now, what we are going to go over is the Alma tenor and bass in class here because I feel that it's important. What you're listening to here is uh, the piano. And sometimes it's harder to hear and differentiate um, if you're still one of our newer guys. How do those words go with the actual song? Um, we're going to go over that here. So, okay, um, here we go. From the beginning, boys, uh, here is your alma mater music. Let me pull up the piece real quick um, so I can start the beginning notes. Oh, of course I have an ad. Of course, why wouldn't I have an ad? So here it is. To you. Bases, I have two bases here. So we're gonna go over bases first because um, they get priority because they're here. So if you want priority, show up, baby. That's how I roll. Two, one, two, three. To you are all my mater, we always will be true. Breathe, we strive to make you proud of us in all that we do. Good. Let's try that again, boys. Now, if you're listening, um, I've got some quick breaths in there. Obviously, as we record this in week 10, they're not going to be there. You're just going to watch that video and watch my and, and be very, very focused on that. But during a rehearsal, I want to give it to you. Let's try it again, boys. One, two, and... To you are all my mater, we always will be true. We strive 
to make you proud of us in all that we do. Breathe and good news. This is almost identical to the beginning. This first part is identical. Ready? And uh, we will sing the praise of Enumclaw. That's a big difference. Enumclaw. Everyone else is going to go, Enumclaw. No. Lame. Bases rule, baby. So we will sing. Ready? And uh, we will sing the praise of Enumclaw. High in our hearts we'll hold devotion true until we die for colors maroon and gold. Okay, so you're hearing a lot of consonants in there. Consonants are super important to me. They show attention to detail, but they also separate so that our audience can understand everything we're doing. And there's just a certain amount of pride that is just a wee bit higher when you overemphasize those double consonants. Okay. Now, um, hold Devo. There's a small breath in there. Hold D. You can take that quick breath and sing that D again, okay? And then I want to hard die until we die for, and then a hard F as well. Do we really want you to die? No, of course not. But it's something giving a lot of emphasis towards the love and pride that you have for your hornets. Okay, bases, that's good. Basses, let's see if you, as I'm teaching the tenors, can sing your part against me. That's your goal right now. As you're learning and as you're working, never, ever, ever check out. If there can be a time that you guys can sing more, always sing more. Here we go, tenors. Oh, I just locked myself out. Ready? To you, tenors. One, two, and... To you, I'm all my mother. We always will be true. We strive to make you proud of us in all that we do. We will sing the praise of Enum High in our hearts we'll hold devotion true until we die for colors maroon and gold. Good. Tenors, how'd that go for you? Find out. Process. Bases that are here with me. How did that go? Thumbs up or clap if you're, you're in there or on the chat. Good. Awesome. 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 Tenors. So we've got some of those things where you saw me clicking. Those are obviously going to be where the bases move, right? And we've got to hold on. So be very, very well aware of that. Um, check out those breath marks. Um, know where to come in and um, yeah keep working boys again I'm gonna come back to to big screen boys I am officially flipping the script on how we in this choir program learn no longer am I going to allow for you guys to be frustrated and um, floundering at home you're going to have a lot of these videos as your homework from now on um, when you come back uh, for during hybrid and when you finish out and we begin next year. I'm going to create all of these for you. I'm done as a teacher allowing frustration 
and heartache to happen when you're all by yourself. Rather than having me at home with you, learning and teaching you, where all you have to do is pause, repeat, go over it, pause, repeat, go over it. That's what homework should be. That is what I've always believed in, but I've never had the understanding how to implement it. Thank you, COVID, for one thing and one thing only. You have helped me become a better teacher. Thank you. Other than that, you can die. Die, 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 you horrible, horrible disease. Okay, but that being said, I want you guys at home creating and learning and practicing at home, but without any of the frustrations, so that when we come together as a men's choir, you're not learning your part. You're figuring out how it fits together. I don't have to be have my tenors and basses bored anymore because a tenor was nervous or a bass was frustrated that they couldn't learn their part on their own. That was not right of me to expect that of you, but now we've got new ways to do it. So now I do expect you to learn your part at home with my guidance. Okay, so that's how we're going to do things, gentlemen, no matter what, now or then, your homework will now be learning your part with me, recording, rewinding, back, rewinding, learning, back. That should take 10, 15 minutes. And then all the time that we're together from now on, we're singing, gentlemen, we're making those little fine tuning things, which we've always wanted to do as musicians. Okay, hope that helps. And, uh, Watch this. If you're here, turn it in. If not, watch the whole thing and turn it in. Bye, boys.